you wake up with halitosis in the morning, which is bad breath, if you have brain fog, if you feel lethargic and fatigued all the time, these are signs that your body is crying out for a break. Here are some of the things that you can do to give your body a rest and to get toxins out and clear your mind, clear your lymphatic system, your blood, and improve your overall well-being. The first thing you need to do is to stimulate and activate your lymphatic system. With all the lockdown and lack of activity that we've had lately, this is probably the most important thing to do. Our bodies need to move. Our lymph needs to be stimulated because our lymphatic system is the system that removes and transports toxins out of the body. If we don't move our bodies through walking, exercise, and just daily activities that the lockdown has prevented us from doing, our lymphatic system gets backed up. It manifests as body odor. It manifests as lethargy, just feeling unmotivated and unproductive. Here are some of the things that you can do to start activating and stimulating your lymphatic system. The first one is rebounding. Rebounding is just a fancy word for jumping on the trampoline. Rebounding is super powerful because it gets your body bouncing, moving from the inside out. All your cells are affected as you jump on the trampoline. Unlike other exercises that isolate certain body parts, there's no hiding or running away on the rebounder. So invest in one, just a tiny one, and get jumping five to 10 minutes a day. The next thing you can do to stimulate your lymphatic system is dry brushing. You can also do poses in yoga such as downward dog because it turns your underarms upside down and we have specific lymph nodes that rest in the inside of our armpits. Next, you can do gua sha. I discovered gua sha thanks to TikTok and it involves just stimulating your cells just underneath your skin in a certain way to get them up and lifted and releasing toxins especially if you wake up with a puffy face like me <laughs> you can invest in supplements such as black seed oil which is so powerful for removing mucus from the body if you follow dr sebi's protocol you will know that mucus is the beginning of all disease black seed oil also known as nigella sativa is famously known as the plant that cures everything except for death that's how powerful it is. Just one teaspoon of black seed oil per day will get all the mucus and gunk out of your body. It'll come out through your nose and other ways that you'll find out on your own. Use less chemicals for your personal care and for cleaning in your home. You can detox your mind, detox your body, and it's also important to detox your home. Start by using bicarbonate of soda for example when you need something abrasive to clean with when you need something disinfecting that resembles bleach use vinegar if you want to create a beautiful smell in your home use essential oils instead of relying on detergents that are full of chemicals and nasties that disrupt our hormonal and endocrine system You can also try enemas. I've talked extensively about these on my channel and I will link my video about enemas right here. If you follow Dr. Sebi's protocol, you will also know that our body works on a biological clock on a daily basis. At certain times of the day, the body is doing certain things. Before 11 a.m. every day, your body detoxes and you can assist your body in the detox process by eating fruit instead of eating something greasy like a full english breakfast bread cereal or anything else that you may be eating for breakfast instead eat fruit it is so high in water content so it'll flush your kidneys and it is high vibrational because fruit is grown by the energy of the sun nothing else is more high vibrational than something so natural and grown by life force itself stop drinking soda 
fizzy drinks, caffeine, anything that's not water or herbal tea. Drink herbs that are found in the ground, such as the weeds they tell us to hate, like dandelion, milk thistle, stinging nettle, things like that are very powerful. As a woman, you can invest in some red raspberry leaf, which will also help you in your menstrual cycle. The last thing you can do is to start fasting and learning about intermittent fasting so that you teach your body the difference between rest and digest. Stop eating late so that when it's nighttime, your body knows it's time to relax. You don't have to think about digesting the steak that you just ate or the midnight snack that you've indulged in. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you soon. I hope these tips will help you in detoxing and help you in living a more holistic, healthy life.